Good morning, administration, faculty, invited guests, family, and graduating class of 2016. My name is Kamisa Joseph, and I am really honored to have been given this opportunity to represent the graduating class of 2016, and to finally clarify the pronunciation of my name. Some of you may know me as Kamasia, Kamaisa, Kasima, Shamiza, or even Oprah. <laughs> But just to be clear, my name is Kamisa. Wow, grade 12 graduation. Where has the time gone? It seems like just yesterday we were in grade 10, the underdogs of Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute. Excited to be starting a new chapter in our lives, in a new school, with new people, and new rules. Little did we know the stress we were about to encounter. Looking back at the first day of high school, there were new faces meandering the halls, trying to find the next class, students struggling to open their lockers, really not having a clue what we were doing. And now, here we are, seniors, the leaders of this school. And as we are ready to move on, we now pass the torch to the astounding minds that will follow us. I want to take this time now just to give thanks. First of all, I want to give a huge thank you to all the parents and families who have supported and guided us throughout all these years. You have continuously provided motivation and encouragement while instilling great confidence and strength in helping us to believe in ourselves and our ability to thrive. We could not have made it this far without your support, and for that we are very grateful. I would also like to thank all of the teachers and staff for providing us with the foundation of our learning that will help launch us onto the next stages of our life. Through classwork and extracurricular activities, we were able to develop confidence, leadership skills, and responsibility. The staff at Daniel McIntyre have inspired our lives in more ways than words can express, and we thank you. Daniel McIntyre Collegiate Institute. What comes to mind when you hear that name? To me, it's family. The three years that I have spent at DMCI have made me realize that our school has a certain spirit and togetherness no other school has. I believe the staff and students, past and present, even substitutes, can attest to that. And I'm not just talking about the fact that in the cafeteria during lunch periods, when one table randomly starts clapping, the whole cafeteria will join in a matter of seconds or the fact that it seems like all of the teachers purposely plan to have everything from assignments to projects and tests all due on the same day. Nevertheless, we were able to come together, whether it's through snow cones and hot chocolate during Spirit Week, or when all of the students came together in a big circle with their phone flashlights on, swaying from side to side during our last slow song at our Valentine's Day meetings. No one needed to worry about having a partner or not. We had each other. This is how our Daniel McIntyre family comes together. Lastly, I would like to thank all of you, the graduating class, for all the incredible memories we've had in this school. From winning our 10th consecutive junior varsity champion, volleyball championship, to witnessing the ultimate grab proposals during our last gym ride at Melody Movement Recital, to hosting our first evening dance in 10 years. Apparently, it only happens every three leap years. We continue to outdo ourselves and have never feared to go out of our way, sometimes to extreme measures to make sure we have the best year possible, which makes our school spirit definitely one to admire. I mean, who could, for, who could forget our first pep rally when Nathan and Zainab were fighting over a hula hoop and Nathan swung Zainab across the gym floor like a puppet? That stone was definitely trending on Twitter that night. And my personal apologies to the innocent bystanders of the bumper balls during our grade wars who are simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope you have healed from your injuries. All of these events and memories hold a special place in my heart and I will miss each and every one of you. This diploma that we are going to receive today is only the first step. It is the key that will open many doors to many opportunities that await us. The world is in our hands and there is much to discover. We first arrived at Daniel McIntyre as children, and we are now living as adults. Well, most of us. Through our high school years, we were able to meet new people, explore endless possibilities, take leadership roles, and most importantly, we learned valuable lessons from our teachers and staff. The whole, my dog ate my homework trick doesn't exactly work anymore. 
We also learned so much from each other, and it is a bittersweet feeling knowing that as soon as we leave these doors, our procrastination methods of completing assignments and studying for tests the night before simply won't do. We will continue to face challenges, however, we will conquer them. Success will not come too easily, but with hard work and dedication, we can accomplish anything. Class of 2016, we are a powerhouse of innovative young minds. Our time at DMCI has prepared us for the next steps in life. We have continued to grow as individuals and as a family. It is now our job to set the bar high to empower the generations that will follow us. So don't stop, keep pushing, and congratulations on completing this chapter in your life. The journey is only beginning. Thank you.